hi guys in this video I'm gonna show you how to fix BIOS breaking after Windows update or BIOS update in HP desktop and laptops after you updating a uh, Windows or BIOS update you are getting a black screen and no display uh, you should try this method after updating your system you are getting a uh, beep sound uh, and car slog or the LEDs blinking I think this will do not for you you should go to a repair shop and repair from there if you are not getting any uh, any beep sound or light blinking you should try this method all you have to do just open a, br uh, a browser in another computer just type your model number and type drivers like this my HP laptop which is du 10552 tu so I just type the model number and type drivers and just search that and uh, after you that so searching the model number and open the HP website from the result then you can just select the OS version from here I'm using Windows 11 on this computer you so you should select the Windows which Windows is you are using in, in the current system not the laptop okay or desktop you just I'm just selecting the Windows 11 I'm using Windows 11 on this computer and also select the version just select any version from here after that you go to the BIOS uh, firmware uh, options here or BIOS anything like that you can just download the file the BIOS from the uh, official website so I already downloaded the file it's over here after downloading you should connect your pen drive any pen drive I, it the, for the pen drive must be in FAT32 format for that you should uh, format your pen drive just open the run uh, windows press r for the opening run then open disk par just type the disk part and hit enter then click list disk then click on the run, type list disk then you have to you will find uh, the uh, old dri drives in your computer my pen drive which is disk 2 make sure you are selected the right uh, right disk don't select a, uh, another disk also. ok I am just uh, typing select disk 2 this uh, uh, disk 2 is pen drive don't select uh, incorrect disk ok after you say after going to the next step with the old data from erased from the particular disk I'm s make sure the you are selected the correct disk I'm selected disk 2 which is my pen drive after clicking that click uh, type clean then hit enter after typing he clean um, the uh, disk uh, disk completely cleaned after that you open the disk management again open the uh, run pressing windows plus r open disk management then you will find uh, unlocated partition at at the bottom so this is my pen drive just click next click next then click next you have to select NTFS uh, you have to select FAT32 instead of NTFS from here I am selecting the FAT32 here then click next then click finish still you are getting uh, your partition is zero here you just click on format select FAT32 then if you want any name you can just type any name then 
number okay now the pen drive is ready after that you can just open the downloaded file which is here then click on next then accept then click next After that click on next you will find the three options here make sure you are selected the create the required USB flash drive then click next then you make sure you select the correct pen drive as I my pen drive is listed over here I just select that and click next wait to complete the process okay now it's a uh, finished right now you just connect the pen drive to the particular system then turn on the system wait for few seconds after inserting after turning on the system multiple times the computer restarts then the windows will be uh, the computer will be okay after doing this process you are getting the same error uh, which means the black you, you are getting the black screen then you should uh, remove the battery if you are using a laptop or remove the BIOS uh, BIOS battery or and the main battery then reconnect the both of them then try try to uh, turn on the system if you are getting the same then you should repair from any repair shop 